Punctuation marks are the symbols used to separate sentences or parts of a sentence and also to convey the intent of the author. Full stop, comma, colon, semicolon, question mark. These are some of the punctuation marks used in English language. In the first sentence, there are no punctuation marks. So, the sentence is not clear. It is also ambiguous because it can be interpreted in multiple ways. In the second sentence, the author is stating that he is going and he is asking the second person if he is coming. And this is clear because of the comma which separates the two parts of the sentence and also the question mark at the end. In the third sentence, the author is stating that he is going and that the second person is also coming with him. He is not asking, it is not a request, it is a statement or a command. This is indicated by the exclamation mark. In the fourth sentence, the author is not sure about anything. He is asking whether he is going and whether the second person is coming. This is indicated by the question marks after each of these sentences. So, you can see that the meaning of the words changes due to the usage of the punctuation marks. In this example, you can see that there is no comma after or stocks and or exhibits, which means that this entire part or stocks or exhibits or offers for sale has to be read as a single sentence, which means that simply stocking something is not punishable or simply exhibiting it is not punishable, but stocking or exhibiting something for sale is punishable. As such, punctuation marks are used for providing clarity on the meaning and intent of the sections and punctuation marks cannot be used to arbitrarily increase or decrease the scope of a statute.